I am now sponsored by SeatGeek and FanDuel. Make sure to use code BENGAL. That's code BENGAL for $20 off your first purchase on SeatGeek and $20 free to play when you sign up for FanDuel. Also, check out my Twitch for live streams, my second channel for other games. Both links are in the description. What's going on, guys? Bengal again here coming back at you with another video today back on Ozark State Outlaws Dynasty and NCAA 14. Today, we take on number 15, Missouri. And I told you guys I would tell you the schedule. But we are here in week one already. I've already set everything up. Here is the schedule. Missouri in week one. We have a bye week in week two. We had FCS Northwest on there, but I took them off the schedule because I think it'd just be pounding that uh, no one would really want to see. Week three, we have the Florida Gators. Week four, the Ole Miss Rebels. Week five, Tennessee Volunteers. Week six, the Arkansas Razorbacks. Week seven, the Alabama Crimson Tide. Week eight, the Auburn Tigers slash Warhawks bye week in week nine. Week 10, we got Mississippi State. So, like, I, obviously, you guys can see here, we have a lot of really, really, really good teams. There's no way around it. Like, each of these guys are incredible, even if they're not ranked. So, I don't know how we're going to beat some of these teams. It's just, it'll be fun. Our team's better, um, but as I said, by week, week 9, week 10, we have uh, Mississippi State Bulldogs. Week 10, we have Brigham Young. What are, I don't know what their nickname is. BYU, I think they're the Cougars. Week 12, Texas A&M Aggies. Week 13, the LSU Tigers, who are ranked at number 13. Week 14, we have a bye, and then week 15, we have a bye before the SEC Conference Championship, which I don't think we're going to be uh, in play for in this first year I don't think it's gonna happen I just I don't think we're gonna be winning the SEC but you never know we could ball out I will show you guys the recruiting board and some of my targets obviously with the move to the SEC it opens us up to getting a lot better players so these are the players I'm going after you can see the quarterbacks the names halfbacks definitely want to get some better running backs no wide receivers. I think we're fine at that position for right now. Maybe next season. Going to add some more tight ends. I took some guys off the board uh, if I wasn't really planning to go after them. Bunch of really good players here. I've scouted every single person in here. So I know exactly how good these recruits could be. Defensive tackle Andy Chandler. Just keep me on scouting, please. Outside linebacker Gary Holloway looks almost exactly like the linebacker we recruited to play this year who starts at right outside linebacker at Parrish. We're going to learn all these names. Familiarize yourself with the roster before we hop into this Missouri matchup. Middle linebacker Marvin Carter, Tony Rich. I put some points in it. You can see their overalls. And then a cornerback, Mike Everett, looks like a beast. 95 speed, 90 zone with 81 man coverage. Just looks like a monster. Definitely want to keep to some of these pipeline states though, but I'm kind of all over the board with some of these players I'm going after. And I really want to bring in some better safeties. I love Mike Lee, but outside of that, I don't think we're in a great spot. So Edward Edward Roberson um, could be just the player to add. He looks very, very good with 95 speed. Decent enough coverage, but really high tackling is what's selling me on him. Good hit power, pursuit, block shed. Looks like a monster. Maybe he could even play uh, linebacker for us if we need him to and then another uh, bunch of safeties here Andrew Jones and Dominique Hill Andrew Jones I think there's a chance to get him he's the number one strong safety overall 81 overall in the class with 89 speed 90 tackling just unbelievable 80 press 81 block shed 76 zone coverage 75 hit power basically another linebacker so right up my alley we'll see if we can get some of these players I also have a few athletes on the board and over the course of the season, this board will change quite a lot. And those are Brandon Burgess, who looks to me like he's a quarterback. Could potentially play wide receiver. But to me, he looks like a quarterback. Good receiving stats, but 83 throw power, 85 throw accuracy after a season is going to be very, very good. We have Marquise Dunbar. You could say he looks like a quarterback, but I think we probably play him on defense with 95 speed, 86 man coverage off the bat. He does have 90 throw power and 77 throw accuracy. Pretty disgusting as well, but 86 pursuit. He's kind of a guy that can do it all, whatever we want to do there. David Armstrong, not dumping any points into just yet. And then Gerard Owens is an interesting one because you look at him and you're like, what does he do well? 
looks like nothing almost. He has really high trucking and stiff arm for a player just out of the draft. But you see his catching, not that great. Nothing amazing. Can't do anything defensively, but he's got decent strength and acceleration despite not having guy high speed. Well, that's because he's probably an offensive lineman. Six foot seven, 262 pounds of potential tackle or guard. He likes the conference, likes proximity to home from Jacinto City, Texas. It's a pipeline state. So we have a lot of really good players. Let's go over the starting roster. See the players you're going to be seeing on the field here in season number four. Colby Spencer will be your starting quarterback at halfback. It's going to be the freshman Josh Shelton and Jeremy Chance getting the bulk of the carries. At fullback, still going to be Tim O'Brien. Wide receiver, the order is going to be Hunter Register, number one. Rob Gaither, number two. Omar Williams, number three. Roland Francisco was so good at this four spot last year, so we're going to keep him there. And then we have Tony Gates. He's six foot two, 213 pounds. I want to get him involved. Maybe should have considered a move to tight end for him in this first year. And he might do a lot of that anyways, but right now he's at running back three. We'll see if we can move him into tight end somehow. Not exactly sure how we'd be able to do that at this current moment. Might be able to change it in edit player uh, on the offensive line. I, I skipped over tight end. We got Jake Rodriguez and the freshman Michael McQueen. Not Lightning McQueen, but maybe he will develop that nickname and be next in the line of McQueens at the famous Ozark State University. You guys remember Rory Lightning McQueen? Well, this could be Mike Lightning McQueen. You never know. Josiah Howard, the senior at left tackle. Jeff McGrew at left guard. Jack Ham at center. Corey Tidwell at right guard. And Kingsley Duckett at right tackle. Left end will be Deontay McKeon with Chris Holmes looking to play quite a lot. He's a beast. At right end, it's going to be Sandoval Slaughter again with Chris Holmes as the backup. Shelton Neal in there as well. And then defensive tackle, Daryl Bradford, preseason All-American. Albert Johnson, Fat Albert, preseason All-American with Chris Holmes. Again, the backup. Left outside linebacker, Colt 45. Middle linebacker, Devin White, preseason All-American with Tavarius Skinner backing him up. Right outside linebacker will be Willie Parrish. Freshman, true freshman starting. At cornerback, we got Chris Chase, Derek Higgins, Mike Marshall. Freddie Stovall played a lot last year. He'll be at number four. And then a free safety is, again, Devin Robeson and the preseason All-American Mike Hitman Lee. Kicker is going to be Pete Riley. And then the punter will also be Slippery Pete Riley. Kick returner, we got Tony Gates, redshirt freshman, and Hunter Register. Same thing at punt returner. Kickoff specialist, of course, Slippery Pete. And then that is it. Let's look at the preseason polls, see where we're going to rank. Definitely outside of the top 25, clearly. But will we be in the top 50? I think that's going to be a very good question. And it is answered with no. See Georgia in there, another SEC team. Very, very good. They're barely in the top 50. As you can see, Purdue in here at 86 overall. Air Force at number 51 at a 75 overall. How? Ozark State is number 53. 86 overall, 86 offense, 87 defense. Welcome to the SEC, Ozark State. I'm excited. Preseason All-Americans on the first team. Omar Williams made it. J.J. Arcega-Whiteside as well in here. Um, obviously, you guys should recognize a lot of these names. Brandon Wimbush, the only reason he made it over Colby Spencer is because he's a redshirt senior now and was in the top five for the Heisman last year. We'll see if Colby Spencer can win that this year. I think there's a chance. Cleveland Farrell transferred to Mid-Tennessee State. Wow. That's crazy. How did that happen? <laughs> That's wild. Devin White, preseason All-American, first team. Same thing with Mike Lee. Second team, do we have anybody in here? Uh, not going to spend too much time in here. Uh, but I don't see anyone on the second team. So that's all NCAA, all SEC. Obviously, Omar Williams is going to be in here. But um, that's all we're going to worry about for right now. All right. Mizzou is actually fairly comparable. 88 overall, 91 offense, 85 defense. I think we really were ready for this move to the SEC. And we're going to wear the regular aways. But we're going to pull out the alternate helmets. I am excited. Hope you guys are as well. Let's go beat the Tigers.
They have some really good players. But one's a kicker. One's a right tackle. Not really too worried about that. And then a cornerback, Warren. Definitely going to watch out for him. But of course, Devin White, Colby Spencer, and Jake Rodriguez are three returning monsters for us. But let's get into it. Ooh, Mizzou's rocking these uniforms. Those are sick. Ozark State versus Mizzou. Our SEC debut brings us on the road. We got to go in and beat a top 15 ranked Tigers team. Not the first time we've played a Tigers team. Definitely won't be the last. And we're going to start off playing smart. We're going to kick that ball deep. This team is better than ever. Parrish, make this play. It's going to be Freddie Stovall in the backfield already. Demaria Crockett loses five. And this Ozark State team is flying around the field. Didn't expect Freddie Stovall to play much this year. But uh, you know what? If he's going to, I'm down. If you're going to play well like that, hey, it's a no-brainer. Get out there. We'll continue to play you. We're not going to blitz. Wilson going to take off. Devin White showcased the sideline of sideline speed. Michael Wilson picks up four, but it doesn't matter because it's going to be third and long. We'll come out in cover four and try to shut down this Tigers attack. It's going to be short to Crockett. He's going to break a tackle and pick up the first. And they're going to stay in this hurry up. Crockett in motion. Going to be play action to him. And it is lobbed over and complete to Bo Fenton. It's good to see the relatives of a lot of players we've already had maybe making uh, debuts with our team. Of course, you guys remember the strong safety Tariq Parrish from two seasons ago. Well, now this is his brother as Wilson's going to try and run. Sandoval Slaughter says no. The first sack of the season. First sack in SEC history for this Ozark State Outlaws team goes to the Slaughter. Sandoval Slaughter. Good play. To screen. Devin White. Get over there. Good tackle, but Crockett still picks up three. Read that a bit late. Third and ten. They're going to stay in the hurry up. Do we blitz here? I might fake the blitz with Devin White, but we are going to send heat. We need the safeties to play good cover here. But I think they do. They have good coverage abilities. We're going to back up with Devin White. That's wide open. Chris Chase is torched. He made the tackle, though. That's Jonathan Johnson with a 28-yard gain. Michael Wilson perfect through the air thus far. Get pressure going over the middle, and that is complete to Fenton. He's got a 15-yard gain now inside the five. This Ozark State defense has to step up. Get there, Devin. It's going to be a pitch, and Crockett's got the touchdown easy. He didn't play that well, and Mizzou takes full advantage. The number 15 Tigers are on the board first. Going to be 7 0. Here's Tony Gates. His first touch as an Ozark State Outlaw. Of course, he's a redshirt freshman. And uh, not exactly a great play there. But this is what we expect big things from here in season number four. Colby Spencer. It's now his senior year. He was a junior college transfer. We need him to make big plays today. And all season long, obviously. We're already rolling out, and we're going to run with Spencer. Good block by Omar Williams. We're just going to step out of bounds. Gain a 21. Play action to Shelton. Omar Williams open, and what a play by Cam Hilton to step in front of that. Let's go to Omar Williams quick. Of course, broke the record last year for receiving yards in a season for the Ozark State Outlaws. See if he can have a big season here today, or this season and today. Third and three. We're going to the flat. It's Chance. And Jeremy Chance, the senior, knocked out of bounds. Going to be fourth and two from the 40. Outlaws stay aggressive. We stay shooting. Let's run the ball. Fourth and two. Shelton wrapped up. Josh Shelton couldn't get there. We probably should have passed. Devin White can't wrap up. But Parrish is there. His first tackle. Third and eight. Let's get a big stop here. Wilson looking to scramble. He throws it deep. And it's nearly caught by Fenton. But Mike Marshall 
The redshirt freshman makes a nice play to knock the ball loose and save a touchdown. This is kind of deep. Does he have that range? This is 56 yards, right? He drilled it. How? Oh, yeah, he's a 99 overall or 96 overall kicker. Something like that. Yeah, he, he destroyed that. A step up. Wide open. Colby Spencer hit him. It's Jake Rodriguez. Big gain of 42. Feels weird seeing a white McQueen on offense as Colby Spencer goes down. Maybe not a relative of Rory. Maybe they're, the you know, third cousins or something. Wait. Where is Jake Rodriguez? That kind of matters. Colby Spencer, we're going to roll out. Trying to scramble and create something there. Can't do anything. We're gonna try for a field goal. I need you to bang this slippery, Pete. And Pete Riley is good from deep. We're gonna bring it back to within seven. Devin White. Oh, can't wrap up. No, that needed to be a tackle. Crockett is a monster. It's gonna be a handoff back to Crockett. They've got great blocking. He's got space. Please wrap up, Robeson. Thank you. Crockett gains 33, though. Throw to the flat to Smith. Oh, my goodness. What is that? <laughs> what did he just do? Oh, my God. What number is Parrish wearing? 57? We might change numbers after this. I always forget about doing uh, cosmetic things like that. First and 10. It's an option. Big tackle. Thank you. Colt 45. Colt Nash. It's another option. And it's got nothing. Ryan Williams loses four. That's Fat Albert in the backfield. Big tackle for loss. Look at that play. Third down and 18. Surely we're not going to allow anything here. We're going to back up. Just keep everything underneath. It's a screen. Devin White can't wrap up. Daryl Bradford can't wrap up. Crockett somehow gets back to the line. That's Freddie Parrish. Kick is up and good from Mizzou. They extend the lead back to 10. That's all right. Slowly but steadily, we're finding our groove in the SEC. This is a good matchup for us. They are not a super jacked up overall. We're going to try lobbing that deep. Gaither. That was that was tough. He never really got any separation. That's TJ Warren. That's like their 99 overall cornerback. Maybe we don't do that again. Third and 10. Obviously, you see some fan favorites in the series. Uh, we're no longer here having their numbers replaced. Darren Maxwell's 21 is now worn by Jeremy Shelton. But it's a good thing. Jake Rodriguez over the middle. Look at the truck. Gain of 29. Is it Jeremy Chance? I, we we got to learn some of these players' names. <laughs> Here's a handoff to Shelton. He's maneuvering. It's Josh Shelton. And I think Jeremy Chance. Josh Shelton. All right. Second four, read option. Colby Spencer's gonna keep. Look at the blocks. Colby Spencer's got space. He's in the open field and gone. 40 yard touchdown run for the dual threat quarterback. Great play. Great touchdown, great blocking. Everything about that was fantastic. It's another screen and they're gonna lose a lot. Sandoval Slaughter makes sure that Another big tackle for loss for him. He has a sack. Now, an actual, just regular tackle for loss. He was all over that screen, but what is the running back doing? Third and 13. It's another screen. Devin White should get over there. Good blocking. Crockett breaks a tackle, and then Albert Johnson forces him out of bounds. Picks up a few, but it looks like Missouri's going to punt. Ooh, Tony Gates in the game at wide receiver now that we're five wide. Might look to target him. Because he's very fast. We're going to throw the ball to him. Yeah, I mean, it's, we forced it hardcore. But he got a little bit open. Oh, it's a blitz. 
Brutal. Thought about throwing to Jake Rodriguez quickly. Was waiting for other stuff to develop. And uh, Missouri sent heat. To run? Oh my god. Sandoval Slaughter. What do you think? You're the best player in the SEC? He's sure playing like it. Another big tackle for loss. That one with some emphasis. Emphasis. Shout out to Josh Peck. Drake and Josh. What a show. Second and 14. It's going to be another screen. Devin White. Can't wrap him up. Somebody made that tackle, but they pick up five. They're running a lot of screens. And even though they're running a lot of screens, I'm not reading them well at all. I'll get the hang of it. I'll pick one off, maybe. I don't know. You're going to throw sideline to Johnson. Easy. Where is Mike Marshall on that one? I don't really like him wearing 37. Might have to change that. Oh, that was actually Harmon. He's a backup uh, safety. Ernest Harmon. As they throw right over the middle. Mike Lee, I think he does wear a number in the 30s, though. I don't remember what it is. It's an option. Oh, my goodness. Good play. Throw at me. They're going to go to the flat. Stovall. Oh, big tackle. Mike Marshall is playing strong safety. Play the pitch. Good tackle. Crockett's going to lose, too. Third and seven. It's a screen. No option. That's a face mask. Oh, my God. You got to be kidding me. On third and seven as well. Chris Holmes. We expect such good things from him. Such big things in this season. He's going to play a lot in 5-2 and 4-4 and things like that. You cannot make those mistakes. They're going to run another screen. It's an interception in his debut. Freddie Parrish steps in front of it. He's trying to outrun them and he can't. But what a game-changing interception. His name is not Freddie. It is Willie Parrish. Willie Parrish is his name. The disrespect. Willie Parrish. Wide open. Jake Rodriguez. Nobody covered him. Rolling out. Throwing a chance. And chance has a touchdown. They shut down the run completely. So we like to get our running backs out of the backfield. We take a lead though. 17-14. It's another screen. Do they have one play in the playbook? HB slip screen? Just flip it every once in a while? I'm going to have to pick off a few of those this game. Oh, yeah. User pick. Easy reads. Green eggs and ham. <laughs> I totally forgot that's a thing that I do. They're running another screen. Good tackle. Higgins. Also, uh, Willie Parrish was there. They're going to run the ball. Crockett looking for space. Big tackle. That's Willie Parrish. Oh, this, this year is going to be so much fun if we have these players making big plays like this. And actually tackling Willie Parrish. Devin White. Sandoval Slaughter. Of course, the defensive tackle duo is incredible with Daryl Bradford and Fat Albert Johnson. We're going to take this one with Tony Gates. Good speed. 37 seconds to score. One time out. Oh, man. Throw that on the run. <sighs> Not good. We're going to throw it up. Colby Spencer for Jake Rodriguez. Just underthrown for the big tight end. And we'll punt the ball back. This likely will take us to the half. So I will see you guys for the start of the third quarter. And that is the half. Pretty fun half of football. 17-13 in favor of the Outlaws. Just got to hold on. We start off returning. Let's get some points on the board. Offense has kind of been stalled a little bit today. But maybe in the second half that all changes. This is a very, very fast defense. And that is a problem. We got that. There we go. Good throw from Colby Spencer. I want to go deep, but I just don't think we have the arm or the angle. Read option. Give me blocks. And slide. The read option might be the play against them. They're shutting down the pass and their pressure's really good. But our run blocking has been pretty solid. 
when we run those read options. Not so much on regular run plays, but the read options have been very good. It's a looping blitz. We're going to the running back. Josh Shelton. Yep. <laughs> Tough. Wide open. Omar Williams. First down. Tony Gates gets his first completion. Or first reception, I should say. Completion, of course, goes to Colby Spencer. But this offense is moving a little bit. Tony Gates now going to line up in the backfield. And we're going to throw it to him. Back to back, he breaks a tackle as well. And rolls inside the five. We should nickname him Gator. Tony Gator Gates. That was the Gator roll. The death roll. Look at that. Beautiful. I am all about nicknames. I don't know if you guys have gathered that from the series so far. As we're going to juke inside with Shelton. And Josh Shelton's got the touchdown. There we go, baby. Taking a 11-point lead. And that 11-point lead is exactly what I'm looking for. 10-point lead right now. And now it is officially an 11-point lead. This is good. This is very good. Wilson going to run. Someone's got to be there. Freddie Stovall is. He picks up three or four. And they're going to Johnson. No. I wanted to be there. It's going to be a screen. And Wilson just lobs it out of bounds. Third and inches. It's a read option that goes to the running back. Skinner meets him. Can't wrap him up. Willie Parrish eventually does. But Crockett picks up the first down. Willie Parrish already has five tackles. He's had a really good game. It's a read option. And Parrish gets run over. He's still going. Didn't read that as well as I wanted to with uh, Devin White. It's another read option. Quarterback's going to take this one. Mike Lee in space delivers a big shot. Option Crockett and Daryl Bradford shuts it down. Great tackle. Wilson going to take off. And he goes down in the backfield. That's number 96. Chris Holmes making up for his mistake. He has two sacks. They must be counting the, uh, the face mask as a sack. They must be. But he's a beast. And Crockett is out for a couple plays. Oh my god, Shelton, what a juke. He's still going. Josh Shelton rips off his longest of the day. That one was dirty. 98 juke is a beautiful thing. We're going to lob that up. Spencer. And that's intercepted, actually. Uh, wow. It's a good play by Allen. He kept up with that route really, really well. Very slightly underthrown, and Nick Allen just makes a good play. That really sucks. We only have an eight-point lead. Touchdown and two-point conversion ties. Defense has played well, though. I have faith. It's another screen. We're going to cut back inside. Pick up eight. Devin White, big tackle. Michael Wilson loses a half yard. Devin White, big tackle. Back-to-back -back tackles for loss for this defensive line. Or, well, I guess Devin White's a linebacker, but for the front seven at least. And Missouri will punt right back. This is a real battle of the defenses here. Spencer rolling out. Wow, he, the ball's loose. It's rolling around on the ground and picked up, thankfully, by... Josh Shelton. Wow, that could have been real bad. Third and inches. Need a conversion. Colby Spencer read option. And we just slid super early. I didn't expect that block to get picked up the way it did. That's the play that got intercepted earlier. This time we throw a bullet and we get it. Read option. Colby Spencer has space. We're just going to slide. We're just going to slide. I'm tapping X. Okay. Hey, whatever. 
Oh, he's injured. Great. Fantastic. All right, Colby Spencer only has back spasms. He'll be back soon. That's good to see. Let's see if registers open on the quick out. He's not, but that's wide open and his chance with the first down. Not a great pass by Chris Porter, but it got there. It was under pressure. And uh, Colby Spencer's going to come back in. 90 overall. That's crazy to see. Colby Spencer's going to run. And we're going to slide this time. Read option. Get there. Colby Spencer, touchdown. Bobbing and weaving, picking up the nine yards. And we're going to extend this lead. 31-16. to 16. Colby Spencer shushing the Missouri crowd. You got to love it. Ozark State is here to stay. In the SEC is Florida. Looks like they're going to upset a top team in Arkansas. Oh, Robeson just got thrown off. Big tackle by Derek Higgins. Play action. What are you doing, Chris? He's on the ground. Oh, my goodness. It's a 57-yard touchdown to Jonathan Johnson. What is that? What happened to Chris Chase? I really need to know. He just... I'm, I'm not I'm not even sure he just started running at the quarterback for no reason like a psycho all right Devin let's cover the middle it's thrown short Bo Fenton out of bounds no two-point conversion it's gonna stay at a pretty big lead uh, and we have to change the onside recovery 31 22 two score game let's just recover and ice it Recovered by Tim O'Brien. There we go, baby. Oh, what a juke. This juke with Josh Shelton at, what is it, 98 overall? It's just so sharp. I love it. He's slow a little bit. So it doesn't, you know, you, you can't really tell how amazing it is. But it is really, really solid. Third and five. We're going to keep it on the ground here. And... Is that a false start? Delay of game? Interesting. That happened very quickly. We're going to pass now. Omar Williams is open. Hold on. There we go. Read option. That's actually more of an inverted veer. Pick up that block. Slide. <laughs> I'm afraid Colby Spencer is literally going to die on the field. We're going to pass the ball on third and twelve. Let's see if anybody gets open. We're gonna roll out with Colby Spencer. And um, yeah, I don't know. I don't really even know what that was. I I'm not I'm not 100 sure. It takes time off though. All right, Pete, bang this through. And 69 is at 100 for the year. Gonna be 34, 22, 29 seconds left in the game, and I think it's all about done. As we walk in and beat number 15, Missouri. They're lobbing it. Derek Higgins interception. Less of a lob than a, a bullet pass deep, but Derek Higgins makes sure this game ends. That's the game. 34 22 is your final. As the Outlaws, are we undefeated all time in orange helmets? Someone look into that stat for me. Maybe. I'm not, I'm not sure. But we beat a top 25 team, as it shows now on the screen. Very good to see. Number 15, Missouri. Not that good. I don't know why they're ranked at number 15, honestly. This is a really big win for us here in week one. Got a bye week next week. And uh, just overall, a fantastic performance. Player of the game, as I like to name my own. Would it be Colby Spencer? I mean, I don't know how you take away almost 200 yards passing, three total touchdowns, over 100 yards rushing. Receiving, nobody did anything too crazy. I'm not really sure. What about defensively? I think Sandoval Slaughter was a monster. Chris Holmes had two sacks. Interception for Derek Higgins and Willie Parrish. Well, like, Willie Parrish played pretty well, but outside his interception, he didn't really do anything. 
I don't know. I'm going to say we're going to give it to Willie Parrish. True freshman playing, and he played fantastically. Big interception all over the field in terms of tackles. Willie Parrish, you are the player of the game. We really should receive some top 25 consideration after that win. But that's going to do it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I will see you in the next one. Take it easy.